What's up Smart Homers? My name's Aaron and in this video I want to show you the new Ecovax WinBot W2 Omni. The W2 Omni is a portable robotic mop for your windows. And although those might kind of seem far out, stay with me because I want to show you how this thing works. I first saw this thing at CES at the beginning of this year, and I was super excited to try one out, so I reached out to Ecovax, and they sent me one to test out for an honest review. It comes all packaged together in this little box with a handle on the top, and it's super easy for carrying around and moving different spots, which you're going to have to do if you're cleaning windows in more than one room in your house. Popping it open, we can see that the robot is tucked nicely inside there, and that's its little storage spot when you're not using it. And the robot is connected to the base using this long cable. Ecovax has actually been doing this for a while, actually since 2011, but this is one of the first ones I think that's really going to leave a mark. On the bottom of the robot, you can see the little drive tracks, and these are how the robot's going to move around on your window. In the middle of the bottom, you can see this thing with perforated holes, and that's actually a vacuum port. And this thing actually sticks to your window via suction, and that's how it stays there. You'll also see these little velcro-y pads for holding on the mop pad, which I'll show later. Behind the pocket where the robot sits, there's also this little bottle, and this is meant for using to fill the water reservoir on the robot. The cable that connects the robot to the base station, they call a compound cable because it has safety rope as well as power going through that one cable. The effective length of the cable is 5.5 meters or 18 feet for those of us who use freedom units. This long length makes it able to reach the top of even the highest windows and allows for effectively cleaning large areas of glass. There's a button on the top of the unit that'll feed in the cable manually, but the robot base station takes up the cable automatically as the thing is cleaning. The little silicone flap on the top that you can see here opens up a hole where you can fill up the water reservoir inside the robot. This water reservoir only takes water from what I can see, so no need to add Windex. In the back, there's a little trap door that you can open, and inside you get the mopping pads. There's two of them, and you also get a safety carabiner cable and a power cable. The power cable is for charging the unit, and the carabiner is used to secure the unit so that it doesn't fall out the window if the robot falls. We begin the process by washing out and then wringing out the mop pad to get it moist for its first run on the window. Now we'll take the moist mop pad and we'll install it on the bottom of the robot. There's only one orientation you can put it on, so you should be able to figure that one out. You can actually use both sides of the mop pad, so we should get some decent life out of these. Once that's installed, you want to set the base station on a flat surface that has no seams, because this thing is actually held down by vacuum. If the robot were to fall off the window for some reason, this thing can't move. Once that's done, you're ready to go ahead and start mopping, so you press and hold the button on the robot's handle, and then it'll start sucking, and then you stick it to the window and let it rip. Now, these windows hadn't been washed for, honestly, a couple of years, so you can see a real stark contrast between the clean and the dirty area, but I was truly amazed by what a good job this thing does. Almost no streaking was left, and that's surprising since these windows really hadn't been cleaned in such a long time. Running a second pass made them even cleaner with absolutely no streaks, and I was also impressed how close we could clean to the edges of the window. I really like this tri-nozzle design that sprays water on both sides while going either forward or backward to get the window wet for it to wipe it. When the cleaning of a window is done and it senses that it's done, it stops and announces that it's done. And you can go ahead and detach it from one window, stick it to the next one, and start it off again. 
Now, I've heard a lot of comments of people saying that this is doing a lot of work and that's just as hard as wiping it yourself. And let me tell you, no, it definitely isn't. You don't need a ladder of any kind. You can just pop this on your window and you can walk away. It takes five or six minutes to complete a window and you can be doing other tasks while you're waiting and it will announce and let you know when it's ready to move to the next pane. The question though is, is it worth $600, which is the price of this thing, at least right now? I suspect that it's going to be most worth it to people who have really big windows that are really high up, like people in apartment buildings where they have to pay a window cleaner or something like that. Now, Ecovax did send this to me for free to test out for an honest review, so I can't really comment on price. I can tell you that I'm going to use this thing every single spring to clean my windows because it's way easier. Notice the path that it takes going from top to bottom in a very orderly manner and it looks like how a robotic vacuum cleans a room. There's no mapping or anything like that and the app is kind of useless in my opinion. Since this is a Bluetooth device, you have to actually be pretty close to the device and connection to it with my phone was very flaky. The app gives you some options for deep cleaning or fast cleaning, but I just use deep cleaning for everything. And it also does let you remotely control it and drive it around yourself, but there's really no need for that. The app doesn't do much. For this first round of cleaning, since the windows were so dirty after years of not being cleaned, I would actually rinse off the mop pad and wring it out in between each cleaning, but I didn't really have to do that with the windows once they were cleaned once. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick look at this thing and kind of pique your interest, see if you want to learn any more about it. I know this product doesn't really fit most people's use cases, but I did want to show it in case you're a person who might want to try it. I left a link to this thing in the description if you're interested. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.